It is a gradual loosening of lockdown. For many in the UK, though, what's allowed now has become rather confusing. To be honest, I'm raging. I'm furious. don't really have a clue what's going on. And actually, I don't think anyone really has a clue what's going on. London hairdresser JR says he has well, no I'll idea to whether uh, going I'll back to work home, would mean uh, breaking the rules. There's been a lack of like, clarity from the government on what you should do and I feel like the government is putting the pressure on the public to make up their own minds with regards to what's, what they should do and what they shouldn't do. The government loosened its regulations on the 10th of May. What's been very frustrating for people living here within the UK are the apparent ambiguities within these new rules and regulations, the contradictions that allow people to travel where they want to travel, as long as they're not visiting people overnight. Which is why today I'm going to Paris to get my hair cut, because salons there are open and I can. Just a few hours on the train and I can finally get a much needed trim. My only worry is the amount of time I've got in Paris because this train was delayed by 15 minutes, which means I actually only have about an hour and 15 minutes. A five minute walk from the Gare du Nord. My luscious locks, properly preened, Paris style. Voila. And back to London, all within just a few hours. Leading scientific experts say a loosened lockdown has come too soon. It seems to be uh, driven uh, politically to uh, open up businesses, and the government have kind of left businesses to make their own decisions about what people should do and should not do, whereas uh, the government should be more direct. The Prime Minister has acknowledged frustration over what he described as a complex easing of the coronavirus lockdown, suggesting more complicated messages were needed during the next phase of the response. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews.